Today's Dallas Cowboys video, all about the Cowboys' initial 53-man roster and the cuts that led to that, is made possible by Magic Spoon. Get $5 off your first order at magicspoon.com slash cowboys. Let's break down the Cowboys' 53-man roster cuts. They've been officially announced now by the team, and there are some rather notable ones I want to get to here off the top. First, the two that, you know, went down earlier today. That is Garrett Gilbert at quarterback and Ben DiNucci as well, which leaves Cooper Rush as the lone backup for now, potentially, behind Dak Prescott. The Cowboys, after putting Shewo Alonalua and Rico Dowdle on IR earlier this preseason, have cut all three of Jaquan Hardy, Brendan Knox, and Nick Ralston. This is an area the Cowboys will monitor the waiver wire and potentially add someone who ends up getting cut, or maybe even monitor the trade market as well. The Cowboys had lots of receivers, and they've pretty much all been cut. Brandon Smith, Johnny Dixon, Aaron Parker, Osiris Mitchell, and Reggie Davis have all been released by the organization as their time is now done here with the Cowboys, at least for a day. At least a couple of these guys you will end up seeing placed and go to the practice squad for the Cowboys. Who it is, I'm not sure yet, but I'm sure we'll find that out in the very near future for the Dallas Cowboys. Some more offensive players here. Jeremy Sprinkle, that one was maybe one of the more surprising cuts here for the Dallas Cowboys as he's been released, although he could also end up being a practice squad option for the Cowboys. Artavius Lynn also cut as he's maybe, probably but not going to make the practice squad. I'd watch out for Nick Eubanks. I'll also mention Isaac Allercron here. He is a free practice squad player as part of the NFL's International Player Pathway Program, so he can still be promoted to game day if needed, but he's going to be on the practice squad. That was always the plan for the Cowboys. They've also released backup offensive tackle Eric Smith. Now, we got more cuts to get to. Before that, though, are you excited for week one of the NFL season? If you are, which I know I certainly am, and I hope most of you are as well, do me a favor. Like this video. Like me, I'm hyped. I can't wait. Show your support by liking today's video. All right, one more offensive name here, Braylon Jones, as he has been cut by the Cowboys. Maybe practice squad, probably not. They will try to get both Rondell Carter and Justin Hamilton to the practice squad. Those are two names that are a little bit more... Less likely to get claimed. Again, in general, it's a lot easier to get practice squad guys through waivers. But Carter and Hamilton are the two that Cowboys might be most concerned about. Uh, backup DT, Austin uh, Feloio, no surprise there. Deontay Burton, I know many of you wanted after he got just absolutely roasted in the final preseason game. Three safeties have been cut. I would not be surprised if multiple of them end up on the practice squad. Darian Thompson could be this year's Brandon Carr on the practice squad to start. Helps out on special teams as a game day call. Remember, you get two of those guys each year. Steven Parker, Tyler Coyle also cut. And then finally, the long snapper, Jake McQuaid, got cut. If you're going, wait, why? It's simple. The Cowboys got to do some roster shuffling, putting some guys on IR. And able to be to in order to be able to return from IR, excuse me, you have to carry those players through one day of the active roster. So McQuaid gets cut. He's a vested veteran. There's no waivers. He will re-sign, you know, Wednesday or Thursday for the Dallas Cowboys. Now, which of these roster moves surprised you guys the most, or at least the cuts? I mean, I think that the most noteworthy cut in the end was probably Jeremy Sprinkle. Dallas also activated Chauncey Golston. We'll get more on that here later on. That was a surprise to me. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. All right, now let's run through this Cowboys 53-man roster, which is almost more of a 58-man roster with all the players on the COVID list right now. Amid the speculation and rumors around Cam Newton, which we did a video on, the Cowboys have just two players at quarterback for the time being, Dak Prescott and Cooper Rush. Those are the only two options, at least for now. Do you believe, then, that Cooper Rush is the right backup for this team? Get your votes in for me in the comments section by typing in Y for yes, he is, or N for no, he's not. Cowboys going thin in the backfield as it is just Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard. As previously mentioned, I would not be surprised if the Cowboys 
Look to claim somebody off of waivers. That will process at noon Eastern, or, yeah, noon Eastern, or one Eastern, one of the two, either way. Tomorrow, early afternoon for the Cowboys. No Nick Ralston, no Hardy or Knox. Now, receiver is where things get a little bit interesting here. Amari Cooper, Michael Gallup, and CeeDee Lamb. You see the asterisks there for CeeDee Lamb and for Noah Brown. Both of those players are on the COVID-19 list. For the time being, they do not count against the 53-man roster. So it's not just a 53, including those guys. It's actually more like a 58-man roster. So the Cowboys, for now, are carrying seven receivers. A chance link Turner ends up being an IR stash. Also keep an eye out for Simi Fayoko. There is not necessarily a guarantee the Cowboys don't end up waiving him if they make a different claim and trying to get him back onto the practice squad. As mentioned in today's show, it's made possible by the delicious and healthy cereal that is Magic Spoon. Get $5 off your first order at magicspoon.com slash cowboys. High in protein, 13 grams of protein, 4 grams of net carbs, and oh, by the way, zero sugar despite tasting like absolutely incredibly delicious cereal. Again, go get $5 off your first order at magicspoon.com slash cowboys there will by the way folks be a clickable link for you guys in the comment section and in the description i gave up cereal because the healthy stuff you know did not taste very good and the tasty stuff you know wasn't healthy for me magic spoon though is the perfect blend to tight end now blake jarwin dalton schultz does sean McEwen is another potential ir candidate if that's the case i don't know what the cowboys will do at tight end Maybe his injury's not as bad as previously thought when I thought he could miss a couple weeks. He's on the roster for now. He could end up being an IR to return candidate. Jeremy Sprinkle could start the year on the practice squad, but maybe get activated for the first game to give the Cowboys some added depth at that position. All right, now over to the offensive line where things are a little bit complicated here. First off, Connor Williams, who is on the COVID list, does not count against the active 53-man roster. Even excluding him, the Cowboys have gone rather deep along the offensive line. Obviously, the aforementioned locks of Tyron Smith, Biotish, Martin, Collins, and Secchi, Steele, McGovern, no surprises there. Brandon Knight is on the roster for now. There are some trade conversations going on between Knight and the Cowboys and other teams, so keep an eye on that name. Matt Farniuk is there for now. He's also kind of a potential wave candidate, depending on what other moves the Cowboys try to make after the waiver wire period. And Josh Ball could also end up being an IR to return stash. So this offensive line for week one could look very different based on who's active. The same is true here of the defensive line. Some, some notable movement here. Demarcus Lawrence, Oso Digizua, Randy Gregory, Dorrance Armstrong, Brent Urban, Terrell Basham, no surprise there. The Cowboys, though, have activated Chauncey Golson from the pup list. A bit of a late surprise there, but he is now an active player. Bradley and I makes the team for the time being. We'll have to monitor him as well. Tristan Hill remains on the pup list. He's going to miss at least six weeks then. And Carlos Watkins is currently on the COVID list, so he does not count. Overall, a bit heavy at defensive end. The Cowboys might not be done at that point. DT, by the way, interior D-line, still a bit of an area of concern. So with that in mind, I want you guys to name a player who you want the Dallas Cowboys to add. Get your votes in for me right now in the comments section. The Cowboys have also gone very deep at linebacker. Quick note uh, off the top, Azur Kamara, perhaps the most surprising player to make the active roster. I wasn't anticipating that one, but that's a nice surprise for him. I think special teams a factor there. He also might end up getting cut. He's more of a true defensive end, but kind of the stand-up outside linebacker kind of hybrid role. He's, uh, I don't think, on totally firm ground yet. If he does get cut, clearly he's a practice squad guy for the Cowboys. Francis Bernard will likely end up going to IR, meaning the Cowboys did go six deep at linebacker. Luke Gifford has made this team as well. Now, if you guys want daily Cowboys videos, say the practice squad when that gets released, most likely on Wednesday, uh, you know, when the Cowboys make their other pending roster moves, we got you guys covered. Hit that big red button and subscribe if you want free daily Cowboys videos. 
All right, the secondary now, the depth chart here, right? No surprise at the top. Trevon Diggs, Jordan Lewis, Donovan Wilson, Anthony Brown, Sean Wright, Maurice Kennedy. Some buzz that Joseph might miss some time, but that's too early to be determined as far as I'm concerned. Safety-wise, the Cowboys went with the five I wanted, knowing that DeMonte Casey does not count yet uh, on that active roster because he's still on the COVID list. Jerron Ger Curse makes it despite his weird cryptic tweet. Malik Hooker also ends up making it as well. And then so too does Israel Mukwamu, which I was very pleased by, even if he might be more of a red shirt type of year player if everyone stays healthy. So what I want you guys to do right now is rate the Cowboys' current roster for me. Use a Madden-style scale, 1 to 100. It's not a 1, it's not a 100. But either way, I'm curious what you guys have to say. Get your votes in for me right now in the comments section. I did want to briefly look at the special teams here. Yes, I know we mentioned Jake McQuaid as a roster cut. He will be re-signed. This is just a, um, a transactional type of move. No waivers for him. He'll re-sign on Wednesday or Thursday at the latest and be the team's long snapper. The Cowboys were monitoring the Johnny Hecker situation, the Rams punter who John Fossil knows so, so well. They restructured his deal, so Brian Anger will be this team's punter, along with Greg Zerline, the healthy now kicker for the Cowboys.